everyone, and welcome to this new feature preview demonstration for GeoTime. Here we're going to take a look at some upcoming capabilities in the software. The data set that we'll be using for this video is taken from a GPS device that was used by a downhill skier for several hours. Here you can see all of the event points that were created from the GPS device. We've gone ahead and we've color-coded each event point to show the relative altitude of the skier. Event points that are white denote the lower altitude, and event points that are more red denote the higher altitudes. Here we can see the peak altitude of 2200 meters above sea level. This is where the skier goes to the very top of the mountain. We could look at all of the event points that are registered when the skier is going up a chairlift, or we can look at all of the event points for when the skier is making his descent. You can see the difference between the different color gradients. Here he's going downhill, which denotes orange all the way to the whiter color. What if we wanted to see where the skier spends most of his time on the hill? In order to do this, we'd have to divide the hill into different sections or areas. Here we're going to draw different regions to divide the hill up into four separate areas. Once I've got my regions being displayed on the map there, what I want to be able to do is to be able to show the relative amount of events in each one, meaning where does a skier spend most of his time. So I can now go ahead and color code these regions based on the number of events or other user data. Here you can see at the bottom of the hill there, there's a dark blue color which denotes that the skier is spending more time than in any other part of the hill. This new capability will allow users to generate map graphics that reflect user-driven data. Thank you for joining us for this new feature preview video. Stay tuned for upcoming release and announcement information at the GeoTimes blog.